Welcome back to my conversation with Yanis Barunus. He is a member of the political secretariat of governing party of Syriza in Greece, and he heads the responsibility for European and international affairs. Welcome back. Nice to be here. Yanis, Greece, um, like many other nations in the world, have been hit by a huge corruption scandal. Um, describe what that corruption scandal is about and who's involved in it. Well, this was an investigation that actually started from here, from the US and the FBI. And it involved Novartis Pharmaceutical Company, it's one of the biggest multinational pharmaceuticals. And uh, the Greek government, the, the Greek justice system, first of all, received the files of the investigation by the FBI. And actually, uh, through this investigation, it was revealed that uh, the Novartis scandal includes two ex-prime ministers and eight ex-ministers of healthcare and economics in Greece coming from the right-wing party of New Democracy and the Social Democratic Party of Pashok, who used to rule the country for the last four decades. This is a huge scandal for Greece. It has been calculated that uh, in the last 15 years, the country lost 23 billion euro uh, in scandals in the healthcare sector. And one of the major scandals is the Novartis scandal. What is currently happening is that the Greek parliament a few days ago uh, voted by majority of the ruling coalition to form an investigating committee in the parliament because names of politicians are included in this file. So this committee will investigate the data, the evidence, the numbers, and um, all the background of this research that has, had already been made in the US and in other countries, and try to see if these political personnel of the previous government uh, is really involved in the Novartis scandal. And what's going to happen next is that the file will be returned from the parliament to justice. And then it's the time of the judges to do their work. To and what is the Novartis scandal? What are these former politicians charged with and who else is involved? In they the are charged uh, with, uh, they are involved in a process that also included money laundering. And uh, the main, the core of the Novartis scandal is that the company was bribing political personnel and also medical and paramedical personnel in order to promote its pharmaceutical products in Greece against its competitors. And uh, apparently this includes an enormous amount of money that have been circulating through communication and promotion companies through press offices of the Ministry of Healthcare and um, through purchases of huge amounts, for example, of vaccines that were never used in Greece, numbers that exceed even the number of the total population of the country. So um, we're talking about a big thing. And uh, you should take into account that this scandal was revealed and came into light in a country were the old political establishment, being either conservative governments or social democratic governments, has been unpunished for a numerous big scandals of the last 40 years. So this is not by accident on the top of the agenda in Greece. This is not discussed accidentally in every house. Greek citizens want justice after all these years. And this is one of the main reasons that Syriza, as an anti-establishment political project and political proposal, came into power. It was not only the amelioration of the consequences of the austerity programs. It's also uh, the issues of restoring justice, restoring transparency, restoring democracy itself in Greece. After all these years of arrogant, of an arrogant clientelist system that was never judged for its crimes. Yeah, putting um, Greece uh, and the Greek people in a very difficult situation. 
um, in the process. Now, what is the objective of the FBI in releasing these documents to the to Syriza? I can't comment on that because uh, uh, we can't always know all the details. Apparently, the FBI was notified or understood that something wrong was going on in the U.S. because the investigation started after uh, the FBI found out that Novartis was, uh, as far as I understood, uh, was involved in, um, in an interaction with some uh, pharmacy chains, drugstore chains in the U.S. for the promotion of two pharmaceutical substances, if I had understood well. Uh, for uh, convincing patients to switch to these substances, to these products, and then convincing them to uh, increase their refills every month. So this is where the investigation started from. And then what came into light is, was it, is uh, an extensive number of cases of Novartis trying to manipulate the markets and this included political personnel, not only in Greece, but also, as far as I understood, in Turkey, in China, and in other countries. And I think that in these other countries, there has already been measures against this political personnel that was involved in the scandals, and now it's the time of Greece. I wish you all the best, and, uh, and um, I guess efficiency in bringing this, these scandals to some closure. Um, I think it's a, it would be an important victory for Greece as so many other countries are tackling this problem. Um, Yanis, I thank you so much for joining us today. There's so much more to discuss about Greece and the struggles of the Greek people. More than pleased to join you again. It was a pleasure being here. Thank you. And thank you for joining us here on The Real News Network.